the world of power and distribution equipment, the switchboard plays a very important role. Therefore, it's important that you know something about switchboards and the offer that Square D by Schneider Electric has for QED switchboards. In this course, we will talk about the evolution of the switchboard. We'll look at how it fits into the overall building scheme. We'll compare a switchboard to a panel board, which you should be familiar with. We'll discuss the differences between a switchboard and switch gear. And finally, we'll look at the individual components that go into a switchboard. The evolution of the switchboard goes all the way back into the late 1800s when the old switchboards were made up of open bus bars, open knife blades, large spacings because the bus bars had no insulation on them. In other words, there was no such thing as wire in the very early days. Uh, the knife switches were used to turn on and off the power. Uh, all of these were mounted to a wooden board, which was later replaced by some type of stone or marble granite. And because it was all open, it was placed in a dedicated room or a fence was put around the switchboard for safety. This is an actual switchboard that was taken out of service in 1994 at the Biltmore House in Asheville, North Carolina. And as you can see, it consists of knife switches, metering, and the board it's mounted to is actually a piece of marble. If we look closely at one section, you can see some similarities to today's switchboards. For example, it has a metering section, and then it has these double throw safe switches, and these double throw knife switches were actually used to transfer power from the utility to the generator. And we still build switchboards today that are called main tie generator switchboards. From that point, we introduced the safety switch, Square D Company, back in the early 1900s. And the next step was to take the open knife blades and mount them to a board. So it was safety switches mounted to a board. And this is actually uh, taken from a, from a board with switches. It, located in the University of Wisconsin. But you can see that in there, there are three different sections. You have a metering at the top for utility. You have a main section, the large switch, and then you have the distribution section. From that point, circuit breakers began to develop. And so uh, this is a picture of a 1960s piece of switch gear where all of these switches and fuses have been replaced by circuit breakers. So if you look at the history, the evolution, it goes from open knife blades and jaws mounted to a board, uh, to safety switches mounted on a board, to circuit breakers in a box where the breakers are all busted together. Uh, we used to build them in series of assembly plants all over the United States. In 1985, uh, Square D came up with the concept of QED. Q stood for quick, reducing the amount of time it took to build a switchboard. E efficiency, instead of building a part eight times, we built a whole bunch of parts once. And then the D stood for delivery, decreasing the delivery time for the customer. Today, most of our switchboards are built in either Columbia, South Carolina, which is the main headquarters, or an assembly plant in El Paso, Texas.